Hello, this is Priscilla Batzel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. Right back there I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Here's one of the pans I put color in and there's the shovel that I'll shovel it out with. And I've got something I want to get rid of which was my pretend plum blossom which is a great color. It's made up of frosted with a little bit of vivid intense magenta, ultramarine, ultramarine blue, and a couple drops of dioxazine violet. But I figure I've got plenty of it and I want a base color underneath my greens. I might use a little Chantilly lace too now that I think about it. I'll just grab some of that. I've got leftover colors from yesterday, which are pretty much the same colors I'm using today. I'm going to grab a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. Use those up. I was going to do balloon dip trees out of this dish, but I noticed that the colors had blended more than I wanted them to, and I could add other colors, but I'm kind of figuring that I'll have enough leftovers so I won't need to worry about it. That dish is going in the bucket. That paint's going in the dish. Take off my palette knife. Throw that other spatula in the bucket because I've got others. All right, so I've got little bits of paint left in the bottom of a bunch of bottles, and I'm thinking if I can get them open, ha. Huh? I'm going to use some Prism Pour Wintergreen. I wanted this to be lighter than I had it yesterday. And I might use far fewer colors than I've got out. That's going in the bucket, or shortly thereafter. I've got Bitter Lime, which is a primary element. a little bit of Emperor's Gold. Try and get rid of some of these as I go. I really like this Mystique, which is a primary element. Emperor's Gold is a prism pour. Here's that right up. I've got some Sassy Sprite. I'm liking my paint dish a lot. I'm not going to get enough out, out of that to make any difference. Let's go to the Fandango, which is very similar to a couple of the other ones, but like I said, I wanted some lighter colors. I like the painting in my dish as much as I... I might want to put something a little bit dark in there. It's better the fact that I wanted something light. Let's let's go ahead and go light, triple with triple sec. Close, please. And green tea. Ooh, that is dark. That's primary element. some peacock in this yesterday. I'm going to try some Midnight Shadow. And then if I don't think that I like it, I guess I'm just going to use some Royal Sapphire anyway. And the other colors I have I'm going to hold back on other than Sea Monster. And it looks to me like if I don't add more paint, I'm going to have to put a heavy base layer on. So I might as well add a little bit more paint. I'm trying to judiciously get rid of um, a bunch of different colors. I have a combination of Wintergreen, Royal Sapphire, and Midnight Shadow. When I couldn't get a hold of some of the darker colors I was looking for, I made one up. And 
I might still want to add a little bit more Fandango. Because I'd like to have enough paint. And it's the question. Alright, so last but not least is what I used yesterday, which is a primary, excuse me, a prism pour primary, <laughs> a prism pour peacock. else is going to be sky. I'm going to use some of my... I'm going to do this this way. That might be more than I need, but I think it's right around what, I want, what I'm looking for. Alright, so I'm going down a little bit. And up some. I'm gonna. I'm planning on using some cell activator. I'm just gonna have to flip that over. That's all. I may have to turn this around. I'm kind of looking to make a freaky sky, and I don't know if I can do what I'm after. But I've seen, you know, celly skies with lots of little clouds in them. And I don't know why I'm fussing over this right now. I am going to throw that in the bucket because I've got more. And then I'm going to just... That's Nick. That's quinacridone magenta, quinacridone nickel azo gold from Golden, and I'm going to use a little quinacridone nickel azo gold from Vivid Intense, just to see how close they look. And I'm going to mix it up with some ginger flower, which is a primary element. And then I'll do whatever needs to happen that I'm going to teach myself how to do as I go along. I was going to use a card, and maybe I should still contemplate that. I've got it handy. I only want to use the white cell activator. You know what? I've got I've got violet pearlescent pearlescent mauve. Oh yeah, that would work nicely. Boom gel, and I have a brand new affiliation with. Pixel Paint Designs for 10% off, and there's a coupon code underneath the video. They carry Aussie Floatrol, which is what's in my cell activators. Now, if this doesn't work well, I'm going to know it's because the paint is so thin. I'm thinking I'm going to have to go for the spatula, but I'm not leaving without my paint. Because that looks kind of messy. I'm not sure that's what I was after, but I'm going to give this a little bit of a shake again. Nope, not really what I was after at all. Makes me want to just call it a good start over. I'm going across. I'm going to use my scrape dish to get rid of some extra paint. wanted it to look like it was receding into the, the sky was receding into the distance, but I don't guess I know how to do that. And I thought that the cell activator would activate some things, 
and have a look at this. See what I can do to fix it if I want to fix it. Now I do have some flow trowel in what? What do I in the white, which means it might help somewhat. I'm going to use the paint I've got on my spatula and add some more ginger flower. And then I'm going to use some more of the Quinacridone Nicolaser Gold. And the white I used was just basically too much white. flushing everything out. <laughs> Which makes me just want to put a whole bunch of Rhapsody Rose in there. Turn it all pink. Which it did. sure what those objects are that are leaving little things in my paint. Might be from the white. Ah, that was a good one I got out. So I'm basically mixing color on the canvas. I'm not sure I recommend this. And I'd like to stop dragging my fingernail through. Well, I'm learning about skies. Where's my blue? I have some pale blue here somewhere. Unless it turns green. This has got some Chantilly Lace and some Prussian Violet. I'm probably taking a big chance. could turn out to be something special and I'm not aware of it yet. So I'm just going to keep going and hope the universe comes to my aid. I don't like it when little filaments that look like sand land in my paint. It's never a pleasant surprise. Okay, it's supposed to be daytime. I got one more of those. I'm surprised that the spatula marks are sort of leveling out a little bit. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to try and go ahead. Clean off my spatula right on the top. Which is fortunately I have enough paint. Oh, and there's plenty on the sides too. Wow, I'm surprised. That is not usually the case. Well, I'm a little short on one side, but I know the formula.
Come on, back into position, please. Yes, I talked to the artwork. I'm going to have to... very carefully. There we go. All right, it is what it is. Doesn't keep me from wanting something else. I couldn't possibly do anything other than share part one with you. So I'm going to have to say, I'll come back. Because that was a test. So I'll at least mention the colors in part two and see what I can do. I'd like to think I can make clouds by dabbing my spatula, but I'm not sure that I'm up for that right now. All right, that's sort of a cool ombre effect. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Stay tuned <laughs> for part two, which will probably just be part one. If that makes any sense to anyone, since I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna clean my spatula off. So you guys look for the coupon code for color art. It's very close to show more. Oh, I gotta change my battery in my camera anyway. Okay. Well I love you guys. Weird as that was, it's over. I love you guys. Come again. Bye for now. Priscilla out.